Whoop. Georgia Bulldogs are headed to the second straight national championship, man. As I was sitting outside uh, watching my neighbors, you know, spark up some fireworks. But um, this was one of the most frustrating games that I've had, uh, that I've seen thus far when it comes down to the Georgia Bulldogs, man. Uh, Stetson Bennett had about 398 yards. Um, started out absolutely horrendous. All right, let's just be real about it. He started off like absolute shit. Um, the Georgia Bulldogs defense um, was absolutely atrocious. Um, I don't know what the issue was, um, but it, it reminded me of the Alabama game, um, the first meeting, uh, where Alabama just came out and just had their way with it. It seemed like it was uh, almost the exact same game plan for but yeah, those are the fireworks. But it seems like it was the exact same uh, game plan that Alabama used. Um, Against uh, the bull, against Bulldogs in the first, uh, they came out passing the ball, a lot of RPO, a lot of quick things, a lot of uh, they used a lot of drag uh, and crossing routes to kind of attack the safeties, attack the linebackers, uh, and the front four just didn't get home consistently. You know, they had plays where they um, hit CJ Stroud, uh, they played the run quite well, uh, but. Marvin Harrison Jr., I think he's going to be a, a, a very good uh, NFL player. Um, some good, uh, made some plays. I'm still not sold on CJ Stroud for the most part. Um, in my opinion, again, just my opinion, I think he was a little bit one dimensional when it comes down to uh, how he um, looked at the. Uh, the defense for me, it just seemed like he looked at one side of the field. He was very successful at doing so, but it was one side of the field. And Ohio State, with their wide receivers and their players around, I mean, even if he doesn't uh, you know, uh, play as well as, as I think he should, they still are going to put up a, a lot of points. And they put up a lot of points tonight. Like I said, man, 41-42. Uh, um, they missed the field goal, uh, and, and let's quite and let's be honest, man. Jordan Bulldog, we got a lot of um, we, we got lucky. We got lucky. Uh, make no mistake about that. We got lucky. I wanted to see more out of Jalen Carter. He did not play as well as I thought he did. Um, there was a couple of plays where I felt like he got held. Um, the guy literally tackled him from behind uh, and just laid on the ground. No flag. I thought there was a lot of missed plays, um, but like I said, as, as, as it come down to it, man, um, things happen. Um, Georgia did not play their best game. Um, had a uh, about 126 yards rushing. Um, I thought they should have came out and established the run a lot more. They didn't establish the run uh, as I thought they uh, would, uh, but they held on, man. Like I said, man, we got uh, as much talent as the dogs have. On the offense, AD had a good game. We didn't have a uh, the prototypical Brock uh, breakout game. Um, Ohio State had a plan. They bracketed him. Didn't really let him get loose um, as I thought he would. But like I said, man, this this is what happens. When you're playing the best of the best, um, you got to come with a different game plan. And sometimes your best players uh, get stopped. So I thought they had a, a good game plan against Brock. Brock Bowles, um, Big O went out with the injury. Hopefully, it's not something that's going to key him out of the uh, championship game. Um, but I need to see more out of Jalen Carter. Uh, Keely Ringo was awful tonight. I mean, he was absolute trash. The safeties, they, I, I don't know what the hell was going on. I don't know what the game plan was. I don't know what the issue with the secondary. They couldn't tackle. Um, they're missing a lot of tackles. The linebackers aren't necessarily the type of linebackers that's going to be cover guys, but these guys are very good, um, sure tacklers. Um, they are fundamentally, fundamentally sound when it comes down to assignment, uh, stuffing the gap, being physical at the point. Uh, that's something that they all always been good, but I thought Ohio State really took advantage of um, our 
our uh, our corners, which this year is uh, pretty much one of the weaknesses. But like I said, man, uh, things happen, uh, and Bulldogs pulled it off, and they pulled it out. And at the end of the day, that's what you ask for. Good teams find a way to win. Um, they missed the field goal. Uh, Kirby kind of iced them at the end of the game. And, you know, uh, this is why you got to have some pretty good kickers. The uh, Bulldogs missed a couple of kicks themselves uh, in high-pressure situations. Um, you know, you're going to find out if you got a good kicker or not. So, like I said, at the end of the day, man, I thought it was – uh, a very good game, man. A competitive game, as I, I thought it would be. Um, at the end of the day, the Bulldogs pulled it out. They showed that they uh, are one of the top teams. And sometimes as a top team, breaks just seem to find you. You know, luck just seems to find you. So at the end of the day, let me know what you guys think about uh, this game. Ohio State, Georgia Bulldogs. Was it a good game? Do you think the Bulldogs will end up, you know, beating TCU in the championship? Leave you comment below. Your boy, man, Mike, is out, man. Peace.